guys, Way Too Lightheart with Matty G here, and guess what? We forgot a couple things about sleep. You know, so uh, Matt, what are a couple extra little tips that we want to add in here? Yeah, we, for we forgot a couple of key things. Uh, one, and uh, we're wearing some cool glasses, watch circadian rhythm videos to understand what these are all about. Well, first thing is put your, what, your uh, iPhone or your phone on plane mode. You want to shut down all the Wi-Fi going on in your room. That certainly made a difference in, in the quality of my sleep. So you don't want, you don't have Bluetooth. You don't want to be, have Wi-Fi mm -hmm. running in your room. The optimal, optimal, optimal type of room is a Faraday cage, which blocks all signals. <laughs> Uh, if, if you, we you know, know people that sleep in Faraday cages, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> and just you wondering what the hell's a Faraday cage? It's a room that blocks all types. There's no communication. There's no signals that can come in or come out. And uh, usually it's made out of copper. So if you're building a brand new house out of scratch, you know, if you wanted to have a Faraday cage, it's possible, <laughs> you know. But anyways, that's uh, that's one thing. But the thing we forgot about is the mattress. Right. The mattress, and the mattress is a big, big deal. So, I mean, think about it, right? <laughs> and I'm, I'm going a little bit of a rant here, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant. I know you love to rant. And right? I know you love to rant. Oh, we love and, to rant. And we love listening to each other's rants. <laughs> so, the biggest thing that, you know, makes me shake my head is when people don't invest enough in a couple of vital things, right? right. People will drop 20, 30, 50, 100, 200 grand on a car. Right. Right? But when it comes to, for example, water, which, right. which your 70% of your body is made out of water and it's perhaps the most important nutrient. And if you think about sleep, yeah. eight hours. A third of your life. Right, a third of your life. A third of your life is in your bed. Right, so a third of your life is a lot, right? It's kind of mind-blowing when you think about it, right? It's mind-blowing. So, you know, and then people go and buy really cheap mattresses or they don't invest in great water technology. Again, mind-boggling to me. So hopefully, you know, we're gonna reframe that, reframe the importance of it, because again, a third of your life, and it's one of these, it's more than a third, because if you have a crappy mattress, it can throw your back off, which is gonna affect you all the time. Right. You know, you're not gonna sleep as well, which right. is gonna affect you all the time. Yeah. So definitely drop the coin on a good mattress. So let's just talk about the best type of mattress. We're not gonna name right. brands, but if you study uh, sleep satisfaction, yeah. by far the number one type of mattress is memory foam. So with memory foam, <clears throat> and this has also been, been proven in sleep research labs, there's a lot less tossing and turning. The body's not going to be moving as much while you're sleeping, so you have a deeper sleep. And and this is <laughs> if if you and your partner, your romantic partner, have different sleep patterns. In other words, one goes to bed a little later than the other. The other big benefit is when you slip into bed, you're not going to wake up your partner, right? Oh, because that's, because that's because it's not going to be shaking and stuff of, like like most mattresses. A lot of people complain about that one, right? Right. And and very few couples actually have the same sleep cycle. Right. Exactly. I know that I hate being woken up and, and my wife gets upset too when I wake her up. Uh, so, you know, that, that's another big benefit of that technology. There's only one downside to the memory foam and that is you can get a little hot. Now, you can counter that and of course, we're, if you watch earlier in the video, we talk about you need a cold, cold room. So, if your room is cold and you're, you're pumping out a, a good AC, that won't be an issue. But for those of you that are not using air conditioner, uh, you might get a little hot. And as we talked about earlier, that will lower the quality of your sleep. So if you're gonna use a memory foam, definitely use air conditioning. That's that's my opinion. Okay, great. So anything that's we've got everything covered now. That's the extra. I, I think section. so. I think so. Uh, if we don't, we'll come back with a part two or update this video. But exactly. Thanks, so uh, thanks so much for that extra bonus. And of course, that's uh, another tip from uh, us here at Bioptimizers, the Healing Health and High Performance Program. I'm Wade T. This is Maddie G. And uh, happy to keep the message going. We'll see you on the next lesson. Hey guys, uh, one more little tip. These are uh, lights, orange lights. So in your bedroom, in your bathroom, all that stuff at night, uh, you know, use orange lights. They're basically not gonna stimulate you like most normal lights. Again, uh, links in the bottom, check them out. I, another no-brainer investment. You can use, use these to read for those of you that like to read before you go to bed. Perfect.